Hey YouTube, Land Attack Channel is here doing another action figure review. Now this is something that literally just arrived. Um, I'm not sure how new it is compared to other places. It was just delivered here to myself. Sorry if the audio is a little bit uh, fading away. I'm just moving some stuff around so I can rotate this massive box around. It's something I haven't done on my channel for a bit. Um, and what that is, just bring up the bottom of the box, is one of the Fortnite uh, figure sets. Now, I have picked up lots of Fortnite figures from people who follow me on Instagram with my uh, toy photography stuff. But I haven't actually done any reviews on Fortnite figures in a while. I think the last one I did was last year sometime. And this is, is something I pre-ordered on Amazon. Now, I pre-ordered it because it said it was due for release in December. However, that's not the case. It They sent me like an email literally a couple of hours before it shipped saying, oh, sorry, the, uh, the new estimated delivery date is September and not December. So this thing has arrived and what it is is the Fortnite Vault set. Now I picked it up because it looked pretty cool and interesting for use as background diorama stuff. So... Before I proceed with the figures and stuff, because they're still sealed in the box, I'll have to do a, a little bit of a time split and crack it all open. I won't do it on screen because it'll probably take way too long to crack it all open, take everything out of the box and don't have a setup for that. Well, it, it, we'll just quickly look over what you get in the box. So you get these canisters, which look like kegs. You get the vault itself. You get a couple of plates for the vault doors, which are behind this. You get two figures, which are called Jules, Shadow and Midas. And I'm familiar with this Midas figure. The only other version of him I've seen is an all gold figure of him. What's really cool in this set, and I'm not sure if I can move the camera without knocking a whole bunch of stuff over... Just I have my tripod in a precarious spot, but I'll try and move it up. To show the weapons, you actually get three chrome gold-plated weapons in this, which is pretty sweet looking. You get two Tommy guns, you get some clear translucent guns, and you get a gold-plated, what looks like a grapple launcher with a suction cup instead of like a grapple, which is pretty cool. And let me just see if I can just bring that down. There's some lights and sounds. I'm not sure if there's sounds. There's lights on this thing as well, uh, which I'm not sure if there's batteries included. If there isn't, I might have to try and run and get some. But flipping around to the back of the box, there is more information about what you get. So you get these crates for holding, either holding the weapons. I would love if they actually gave you gold bars, which would be kind of cool. I might be able to try use the um, gold bars I got from Playmobil might look good in this. Sorry if the Batman box is in the way. It's a video of one of the Batmans that I've already reviewed. Uh, so you have Midas, all that glitters is yours. And Jules, uh, Shadow, Engineering Perfection with a Mysterious Twist. So let me get my camera down. I'm going to pause this here. And then I'm going to get back with everything taken out of the box. Okay, folks, and we're back. And, uh, yeah, it took me a while to get these things out of the box, so at least I didn't do it on screen, so you didn't have to wait for me to struggle for, like, five, 15 to 20 minutes of me trying to get things together and get them out of the plastic packaging. So, there is that. So, this is the front section of the set. This, uh, you get quite, as I said, you get quite a few accessories, most of which are intended to be behind the door. Uh, but I'm just going to do it this way. So you get two of these Slurp Co. barrels. Now, I don't think they crack open or anything. They seem to be just uh, good for stacking on top of each other or just for background scenery. If you don't want the Slurp, or Slurp Co. stuff on it, you can face them opposite direction. But they do have this uh, logo on it, which I'm assuming is an in-game logo. And you have this kind of bluish liquid pouring out of the top of them. Uh, more than likely, there's probably different versions of them that has like different color liquid. But this is the ones that come with this set. Um, you get these cool uh, storage racks, which, is pretty, which are pretty nicely done. You can see they're done in a metal with timber style um, shelving units. Uh, for some reason, there's dog hair it's already stuck to mine, even though I, the dog doesn't come over here. Um, but you can see the sides are done as the kind of metal 
um and the sheet metal stuff that they'd have the eggs on that you could change the uh, layout of the shelving but these are done in a set um style so they have that now unfortunately i don't have the battery setter required for these things they take the lr44 little um flat uh coin batteries you know really small ones unfortunately i don't have any of these handy to try out this stuff but this is supposed to light up this uh laser gun or a turret it's supposed to be this is i'm assuming supposed to be on the outside of the playset is in this side of the playset where the front of the vault is obviously to try and uh, deter any would-be uh thieves from taking the stuff now i do have you all to get these two crates i know i recognize these as the standard sort of um supply drop weapon crates that they do with all the weapons in them i've picked up one or two myself which were the old chest style ones this is one of the newer ones with the kind of crate style and then this is again newer again with the kind of futuristic style crate now i have chopped all the stuff all the weapons in here that come in this set so i'm going to go into the weapons quickly so you get now i'm not a big fan of these clear plastic ones they look like they're gummy weapons compared to the painted ones that the previous figures had and i'm just looking around to see if i have any of the previous figure weapons knocking around and i don't not offhand so you get this small little submachine gun you get a green version of the gun that you that came with jonesy um which I think was red and grey. Um, and I think there was a green version of it as well. But this is a green version of it. You get the rocket RPG. Um, done in purple plastic. And then you get the Gatling gun. Which is in that orange one. Again they all look like they're made out of gummy material. Like you could eat them as candies. But please don't because they're actually solid. And you would end up probably choking to death on them. Uh, the cool guns. Or the cooler guns you get this grapple launcher as i said it's done in a chrome um chrome gold and then you get two of these tommy guns which is interesting is they are kind of gummy is still they're kind of a little bit rubbery but i wouldn't overstress them you get one that's in pure gold with no paint apps and then you get another one in extra paint apps so you have silver for the magazine over the drum uh you get black for the handles and the stock so and it looks quite nice and i'm assuming these are supposed to be midas's weapons which would be the intention now he should be able to hold them i think he's supposed to dual wield so if i can get his hands to go into a more neutral position you see his hands are gold which should indicate that he can dual wield some tommy guns and he's done in that kind of 1930s gangster style, which is pretty cool. Uh, although he has tattoos all over his arms and stuff. His hands are painted gold because he's obviously supposed to be like a nod to King Midas, who everything he touched turned to gold. Uh, but he is pretty cool looking. Um, now, there is a few downsides to the figures in this set. Or well, this figure particularly. I haven't really looked at the other one. So... Uh, I'll just see, he should be able to hold the grapple launcher pretty nicely too. Now, I'm not sure if this guy is supposed to be the guy robbing the bank or this is supposed to be his vault and he's supposed to be keeping everything safe. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the game and the vault games, so I'm assuming there is some background story for these. He does have some splotches with paint apps, which is a shame. His shoulder up here where the white of his shirt is actually has some of the gold on it, which I do not think is intentional. It's a bit sloppy on their part he has one eye painted which is intentional because his other eye i'm not sure if you can see that on screen it has a scar which is kind of cool he has tattoos all up his neck uh he has tattoos all over his arms and the one downside about this figure is these really annoying uh gold pistols that are they are a separate piece but they are glued into place and it means he can't really bend his arms down to a more neutral position he's always going to have these arms slightly outstretched which is a shame he does have this waistcoat on which is a two-tone waistcoat so it's a darker gray at the front 
and it has it's a somewhat similar gray to the pants but they are different and then you have a lighter gray and he has the harness pieces for the holsters and then he has some grenades gold grenades that are strapped onto he doesn't really have a belt so i'm not sure exactly how they're attaching to his side but they're just there and then he has this nice pants suit on it looks like he's supposed to have some sort of chain on his leg more than likely it's supposed to be a gold chain or like a pocket watch type thing uh it's not painted but it is there it is sculpted and there is a pouch on the side and then he's wearing loafers i'm closer inspection these are loafers um well or kind of dress shoes more than anything else so they don't have any uh they have a buckle which i'm assuming is, is like a, fa a fake bottle a buckle fake buckle um like the way some of those shoes are and they're usually just slip-ons so uh they're dress shoes that he has articulation wise he has all the articulation of the standard uh fortnite figures so he has double jointed knees his feet are on rocker ankles and his you have to be careful because the the actual ankle has a rotation as well so you need to if you want to line it up you have to line up properly or else his feet will be off centered and you'll be trying to bend the leg awkwardly but he does have rocker ankles he does have a single joint elbow he has a swivel in the wrist and a hinge in the wrist he has shoulder joints which he can put his arms up that much he can only go down that much as stated with these guns he has the ab crunch he actually has a waist swivel which is underneath this uh, piece he has head on a ball joint which has a hinge so if we can just articulate the hinge it goes forward and back you look back up quite much you look down quite a bit it doesn't really have any head tilt but he does have a peg hole on the back if you have one of the backpack pieces as well from the other fortnite figures you can throw that in now i'm just going to throw all the weapons back into this crate just so they're out of the way actually one good is and leave one out so i can come into uh the other figure signs who is currently holding a card and the reason there is that card is because you can use it to open the vault which i will do last and then we'll flip it around excuse me you will well flip it around so you can see what it looks like from the other side so this is jules or julie i think it's jules not julie and she has it, what looks like a kind of uh bank robber style-esque design to her she has like harnesses probably for zip lining across things just what looks like um cutter or thieves tools and stuff like that she has a kind of a boiler suit type thing going on with an undershirt she has a fully masked head with a uh, bit of her hair coming out you can just see her eyes she has like a skull motif on the front of the mask it's quite nicely done uh again same articulation ball joint with the joint uh there's a little bit of paint rub on the neck where her i think it's where her ponytail piece comes out it looks like it wasn't painted properly uh she again has tattoos all down her arms uh i can't really make them out see what sort of significance they are but she has tattoos all down their arms. Again, single joint elbow with a swivel. Arms can bend up that much. Arms can go into a more neutral position, which is what I mean with the Midas figure. You can't get his arms down this to the waist because of those um, pouches or the holsters. Rotation in the wrist, a hinge on the wrist. You can kick forward. Sorry, I need to do go back to Midas and uh, <laughs> do his forward kick. Uh, he has, she has a swivel. Uh, it is a little bit hindered because of this pocket piece is actually on top. Uh, if it was down a bit lower, I might have just avoided that. Same with the one on the opposite side. She has a pocket up there, which is hindering her rotation. In fact, I think it's actually glued the rotation together. Uh, she has double jointed knees, just like the other figure. She has the rocker ankles and she has that. And do these move? No, uh, these are the actual ankle part doesn't move unlike Midas his ones move and she can hold weapons just like the others so you can get some two-handed poses her arms are a little bit better for getting two-handed poses than Midas's because his pistols again get in the way for doing two-handed 
but you can get her to hold a gun two-handed so you have that again these have pegles on the bottom of feet and because uh if you have the uh bases for the some of the earlier figures does this one have what? some of the earlier figures had pegles uh, a base which came with a peggle you can use those um just getting back to Midas, he can't kick forward that much. He does have the back and do the splits that much. And he does have the thigh, upper thigh swivel as well. It's just to show off the last of his articulation points. So I'm going to throw the gun into the box with the rest of them so I don't lose them. As they spill out everywhere. So there is them out of the way. I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way and bring in the piece at the back so you can the ps the resistance as you would call it which is the main thing for this and i'll use her as the example so as i said you get this little card it's supposed to be a security card there's a little indent on two sides of it so it makes it easier for the figures to hold um you can probably do it either which way and the idea is so if I bring in the wall section, so the wall sections are pretty plain, they're pretty grey, but there is an extra wall section. Let's just move things out of the way. Get these. So you get two plain wall sections and you get this third one. And the third one has a camera on it. And the idea behind that is you push that in to simulate the wall being broken into if you don't want them to go through the vault or use the vault key if they can't get through the vault. Now, this thing is a bit awkward, so hopefully it goes back in pretty easy, which it does. And then the idea with the vault and the vault key is once it's in this neutral position, you put the key card in and it opens up the vault and the vault automatically swings backwards, which is pretty sweet and it's good for um, dioramas. Now, there is a light option on this and again, uses the LR44 batteries, which unfortunately I do not have. But I think when this key card goes in, it light blinks green and it opens the vault. At least that would be my interpretation of the set. And if I flip the whole thing around, this is kind of the way it's intended for showing on the actual, uh, you know, the interior of the vault. So you're supposed to have these kind of things set up inside and the crates inside so that when they get in they can steal any of the weapons and stuff so you can use the key card if I just move things back and see if we can get it into the machine without dropping it which I just did Where's the key card Let's see if we can get into the slot at the front without looking at it it's probably not going to happen so you can open up the door, smash everything out of the way, or you can smash in the side panel. You can either smash in or out, depending which way you want it, and you can have people breaking in that way. So overall, it's a really good set. It is a bit on the pricey side. Um, I think it was around $50.00. Like, it is a bit pricey, but you, you are getting quite a lot for your money. Um, even if you're not a fan of the Fortnite figures themselves, the diorama aspect of this set is quite nice. So, for example, if I just, actually, I'm going to leave it as is like this. So, I'm bringing a couple of alternate figures. So, if you have Jurassic World figures, they stack up quite nicely. Haya Toys Robocop figure. As you can see him standing in the vault, protecting the vault. Uh, Haya Toys other Robocop figure, which I haven't done a review for yet, but I will be doing one soon, which is the Battle Damaged 2014 version, or the reboot. A good old standard G.I. Joe 25th anniversary design figure. A basic modern style core figure in the form of the rock one of the older core figures in the form of i think it's rooker and do we have anyone else i can throw in here for size comparisons 
unfortunately i think that is pretty much it for the size comparisons but you get the general gist of how these uh, this diorama set would look as for background photography or even for photography it looks pretty sweet and with the proper lighting you could probably make it look even better so there you go guys i hope this isn't too much of a big uh, overall review or too long-winded for you as i say in my videos please please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i hope you enjoy this video review cheers guys